Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing the second part of the TradingView automation and today we're going to be using the BitGet Exchange. Now in my previous video, I did cover the Bybit Exchange and I will leave a link to that video in the description of this one. But for this uh, video, you will need to have an account on BitGet. So you can basically choose which platform you want to use. There's not really any difference in one of them, it's just basically on your preference. So I try to make this board as flexible as I can. Now in the future, I will be also adding a Binance since that's also a pretty big exchange. And if you guys have other exchange recommendations, make sure to leave them in the comment of this video and I will see if it's possible if I can add them. Now if you guys want to support my channel, you can basically use my referral links in the description of this video or you can join my Discord server. Now there's two parts in the Discord server. The one is going to be a free section and the other one paid. Now to join a paid membership, it only costs 100 US dollars and I give you lifetime access to all of the things that I'm developing. Because as you guys know, I do have indicators and we have this trading your automation board as well as another one that's kind of like a grid board, but I'm still working on that. So I'll also keep you guys updated on that. So without wasting more time, let's get started with this video on how you can automate trades to your BitGate account. Okay, so after you've created an account on BitGate, you can just go to BitGate.com. Uh, you, you can basically uh, sign up and then log into your account. So you also need to go and create an account on the board as well, which is as tradingboard.crawl.com. But again, I will leave all the links in the description of this video. And then if you scroll down, you will see there's going to be a pricing option. Now I do only ask, you know, a monthly fee of five US dollars, or you can use the yearly one. But if you just want to test this out, and it's going to be your first month. I do offer a free trial. Now in the discord, you will see there's going to be a channel called requirements. If you go there, you just need to create an account with a referral link. You can make it a deposit of any size and then submit your user ID in this free trial uh, box. So if you've done that, I will also give you access to five of my indicators for a month. You can uh, use to automate them on the exchange you, you're choosing. If you already create an account and you're logged in, you can just go to your dashboard. And now you'll see that yeah, this is going to be your page. So again, the dashboard is going to show you where books has been received. Uh, currently it is in beta because I'm still trying to filter out some of the error loggings that we receive from the exchanges. As you can see, uh, as soon as it says okay, then it basically happened. Stop loss, I'm still trying to you know filter out exactly on what happened so I can show you guys if you need to change anything. And then also you have your security tokens here on the right. So again, do not share this because it does actually have access to your account. I will be deleting mine after this video. Now here on the left, we'll not be doing Bybit. I did that in the previous video. So we're gonna be selecting BitGet. Now you'll see that before we can do anything on BitGet, we first need to do the API settings. And if you click right here, you'll see this uh, pop-up box is basically asking you for your API key, secret, and a passcode. Now on BitGet, if you go to your profile, you'll see there's going to be this API management section. You can just go ahead and click on that. As you can see, I already have two API keys, but I'm just going to create another one for this video. So I'm just going to go and uh, get my two-factor authentication key ready. And then we can go to our notes. You can call that whatever you like. So I'm just going to say, uh, we can call that test board. And, uh, Passphrase is basically like a passcode on you can use any number you'd like So I'm gonna be using something uh, very simple. So it's just going to be one to eight I do recommend you use something a bit more secure, but I'll be deleting my key after this video So then we're going to be doing a uh, trade as well. We need to do we don't need to do transfers or withdrawals You can keep that empty. I'm just gonna do the verification quickly so after you've received the code Okay, so if you successfully created your keys, you will see this pop-up box and this is going to have your API key as well as your secret. So we're just going to start off by copying this key and we paste it in the first box and then also the second one. Uh, paste it right there. And then that passcode you remembered, I did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And like that, you can just click save. So now it's going to be uh, storing that keys for you and basically connect your account with the security token. 
Now the security token is going to be the one that's connecting your keys together. So you don't have to use all of those data every time you want to open up a trade. We can just work with this token. So this is a security token. Do not share it because you have access to your account. Now this is basically all we need to do to activate the, the board to, to connect to the exchange. And now we can go to trading view where we'll actually set up our indicator for the automation. But before we do that, I just want to mention one thing that's important when using BitGet that's a bit different than uh, Bybit. So you'll see that in the symbol, there's this underscore UMCBL. Now this needs to be passed on any symbol that you're trying to trade and it's currently only using the futures market which is on the USDT. So I'll show you that on BitGet in a moment but just keep that in mind when creating this. And as well another thing if you're naming this syntax make sure to only use underscores and don't add spaces in there. So we're going to go back to our exchange we can now close this and under trade you'll see there's going to be this USDT in futures. This is the one that we are using and for this example we'll just use a uh, bitcoin now i do think that i have funds you see i have 45 dollars available so we'll just use that for testing um we're going to do two type of trading with this we'll set up with trading view and i'm also going to show you how you can manually push out a trade for example if you're doing technical analysis and you already have your set parameters and you just want to push that out so we're going to do, uh, remember the UMCBL, but we're going to do BTC USDT underscore UMCBL. So this is how it's going to look for Bitcoin. And let's say, you know, a pennant is about to break out and we really want to get into that long. We can do it right here. Let's use, we can either use dollar amount or percentage. So if you're using percentage, it's going to be a percent of your wallet balance. Now, as you guys remember, I do have $45. So if I were to use 50%, it would have used around $22.5 to open up that trade but I'm just going to be using a dollar amount and we're going to set that to 20. So for the leverage uh, you can also use isolated or cross that all depends on you I like to use isolated because then I use only a fixed amount of uh, quantity per trade. I'm going to do this on 10x leverage and then we can decide if we want to use a trading stop or not. I'm not going to be using a trading stop for uh, the purpose of this video and then also reversal closes long or short. So we're just gonna skip that and we're gonna head over to our take profits. Now we can use partial uh, take profit and stop losses or we can use a full exit. Now if you're using full and you basically have this set on value, then you need to provide a dollar amount. So this is going to be the distance from your last price. So for example, if I want to have a 10 or $100 gap for Bitcoin, it's going to be for a long, it's going to be $100 above the last price or the current price of uh, Bitcoin, but it's going to be your trade. And then for the stop loss, it's just going to be the opposite. So it's going to be below the current price because it's going to be a long position. Your stop loss is going to be below. For the shorts, it would just be the opposite. So for example, if I were to use $200 right here, you can either get the syntax and you can use it on TradingView, or you can place an order right here. Now, if you place this order, it's just going to be pushing out this trade manually for us. And as you can see, almost instantly, it opened up that long position on 10X, and it also placed our take profit and our stop loss. Now, if you guys remember, we had a double the size stop loss as take profit, and you can see it's also happening right here. So that's basically how this works. Now, you can also do closing from the board. Uh, you can just go back and you can go to above and say close. And then again, remember that BTC USDT underscore UMCBL. So because it's a long position, we can just go ahead and close this trade. And now all it does is basically pushing out the close for us. And there you can see the trade has been closed. So similar, that's been uh, basically what I've just uh, done manually. We can automate this process using indicators, strategies, trending lines, anything we can set an alert on to basically notify the board when to do what. So I'm going to go now to TradingView and I'm going to show you this on an indicator. So when you're here on TradingView, one thing you need to keep in mind is that you want to use the correct uh, symbol and the exchange. So that should be USDT. Uh, so this is going to be perpetual. So you just type that in then it's going to be under BitGet So if you're using Bybit make sure you're actually on a Bybit chart Just so that the pricing match on what you actually see on the exchange 
now i get a lot of uh, questions on this as well and yes the board is running 24 7 because it's on a server so you don't need to keep anything open as soon as you've set this up you can leave it and let it run now uh, for the indicator we can just close this one and go to our invite only so if you don't have uh, one of our indicators you can use anyone on trading view or if you have your own you can use that as well as long as you can set alerts on it now for the last uh, tutorial i used the orca indicator let me try to use something else also that has buy and sells okay so i'm going to be using this indicator which is called the pump and dump uh, i'm just going to hide this back tester so we have more viewing space so you can obviously you can use different settings to to make it better but i'm just gonna hide it and once it's hidden okay so right now basically what we want to achieve is that if there's a long flag right here we want to be entering in that long and the same for the shorts if there's a short we want to enter a short now you can also set it up that if there's a short it closes the long and if there's a long it closes the short and that's what that reversal is, is basically doing so what would happen is that if a buy flag fires and you want to use the reversal you can basically say okay well close the short then and for the short you want to close that long but we'll cover that in another video i'm just uh, showing you what is possible so we just want to do basically simple entry longs and shorts and uh, you can use this indicators in different ways you can either use the take profit uh, uh, basically exiting from an indicator or you can use take profit stop loss or trailing stops uh, from the, the exchanges themselves. Now, as you see that on the board, we have the option for a trailing stop and as well as take profit and stop loss. Now we'll be making use of this. So we don't, we only need two signals for uh, this board. If you wanna see how I do it on an indicator for exit as well, you can watch the, the buy bit one and basically do the same for bit get. So what we'll do is we just need to create the new alert and we'll go to uh, the indicator and we're gonna start by doing the enter long and we're gonna do once per bar. So now we just need to clear out whatever's in here and we need to go back to our board. And we already set everything up uh, for the preview of the menu trading. But as you can see, we have our symbol with the underscore UMCBL. We have the side we want to enter long. So then also dollar twenty and we have our leverage and everything here looks fine. Okay, so now all I do is get syntax, scroll up and copy that. So you just go back to trading view and you paste it in there. So make sure you do have these brackets as well. And now for the last thing you need to do is you need to go and get the URL. So you want to copy this. And you'll see that basically it's copied this link. And now we go back to our trading view. So under your alert in trading view under notifications, you'll see this webbook URL. You just paste that link in right here. So for Bybit, this was slash Bybit and another slash. This is going to be Bitgate, so this is going to be slash Bitgate. So we're just gonna create that. And here on the right, you'll see when it's created. And now we just need to do the same thing, but this time for a short. So I'm just gonna go back to the board I'm going to change this to sell. So that's all we need to do because this, everything else is basically adjusting automatically. We get that syntax. You can now see that it says open short. And we're just going to go back to trading view. So for the last alert, we select throttle pump and dump. Again, once per bar and we clear that out and paste in a new one. So you'll notice that trading view also remember the last URL you've used. So we don't need to update that again. So as simple as this, now basically we have the board running and if there's long signals, it will open up the long, see the take profit and stop losses hit, it would close it and then basically we will wait for the next short. So if you are already in a trade, it will just avoid that signal uh, and it will basically wait for the trade to be closed first. So there's another thing that uh, I do want to show you is basically a live demonstration on this. So I'm just going to go down to a lower time frame, probably like in the 15 seconds. So I don't have to wait that long to show you an example. But this is how you're going to be setting it up. So I'm just going to clear my alerts now because I want to recreate them on the 15 second chart. So let me clear that. Okay, so for this indicator, we do need to do some adjusting because we have quite quite a big uh, take profit and stop loss for the 15 second time frame so hopefully this uh, fixes it um, okay I see a bit of time because the, the last signal was uh, was around 
about an hour ago so let me see if I can I can find a better uh, way of showing you this okay I, I think a better idea is I can show you how you can use this on trend lines this would just save me a lot of time waiting for an indicator to trigger but like in the example is how you would use it on an indicator now let me show you how you can actually use this on a trend line so we can basically add a trend line right here and say if that crosses this trend line we want to enter along so all we need to do is go and set this to buy we get our buy syntax we copy that and then we go back to trading view and we click uh, right on this trend line add alert select uh, basically crossing up the trend line so we only want to do that one time we can create this okay so right here you can see price basically crossed that line and it did enter us almost immediately uh, so you can see here on the the left side it did open that trade now we can do the same thing for the exit so just so you can see how all of this work and uh, we can just delete this line yes and we can draw another one maybe on the top if you move the line the alert will also move but we first need to go and get that close and we already have this one right here so we can just get syntax and copy that and now right click on this trend line and paste in the the new one so we can again say crossing the trend line up so we're going to say crossing up and we have that close so i'm just going to move this a bit lower so we can actually have that fire uh, faster if you move uh, basically a trend line in an active candle it will fire immediately so if you guys didn't know that about trading view and uh, now you know so i'm just gonna make it just above that candle so i know this is not the the best way of actually demonstrating how this works but it uh, saves a lot of time to actually you know set here hours and hours to to find these opportunities but you can use stuff like you know pennants or breakouts channels you can use anything like that set alerts on the line uh, and basically enter you into that trade so i can see the price is going a bit down I'm just going to move that again so we'll see that if that alert fires okay so it crossed it through and it closed our trade so this is how you can automate it uh, you can keep this alert basically active as well so if you add like a trend line and you only want it to to enter along every time it crosses outside uh, just don't set the trend line to fire once you can set it to continuously fire once per bar close or once per bar now i hope you guys like this video and uh, you find it useful if you guys have any questions or you want to know more on how to use it you can join the discord or comment on this video and ask me i will be releasing new videos on this as well on how you can use this in different ways such as like this trend line how you can actually use it on trading your strategies and not just indicators there's basically so many different ways we can use this so uh, if you guys like this please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video.